Hey guys, so let me ask you a question. I had a conversation with a mentor and good friend, Gloria Mayfield Banks, and she's getting ready to travel the world for the next 30 days. And she's planning for her trip and she's ready to have an incredible time. And my question for her this morning was, Gloria, other people want to do that. I want to do that. What is it that we need to do to make that happen? We want to live that life. And you know what she said to me? I've already told you. I've already showed you. And I've already taught you. Hmm. And wouldn't you like to know what she said next? Better yet, I'm going to let her tell you what she said next. And let me just warn you. It's going to sting. But as long as you can take the sting out, you can recover from it. And you can... Learn from it. But the question is, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to continue to complain about the results you're getting? Or not getting? Because of the work that you're not doing? Wait for this answer from her. Super bad all day long. Super bad all day long. If you watched yesterday, Dr. Keith Hurley, my friend, asked Dr. Gloria Mayfield Banks, he said, Gloria, you need to teach them how. You need to teach people how. You need to teach. And I said, Keith, I do teach. That's what I do. That's what I love. I love my career choice. My career choice is clearly, clearly, clearly teaching women how to be richer, to enrich their lives. My platform is I want to teach you how to be richer. I want to take more and more people to the position of millionaire. But you guys are very familiar with this. You can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That's why on my Instagram post today I said, how do you know that you've moved from the want to lane to the got to lane? Because it's in the got to lane that you get the results. You see, when someone tells you over and over again, a track number grows. And then they tell you to track. And then you say, I didn't turn in an accountability sheet. I didn't track what it is that I want, but I say that I want it. It causes you to stumble. It causes you to reduce your self-confidence because you haven't been willing to do. So when I talk to you about be willing to do the ridiculous so that you can experience the miraculous, it's not that you don't know. Now, there's times that sometimes we're new or we don't know, but most times we know and we don't choose to do. How do you get there? You gotta be ingrained in your want to. How can you react to you being 10 times more ambitious than you were the day before. What would happen? What would happen if you truly were willing? Willing. I'm gonna tell you this morning, I didn't feel like getting up and getting on the treadmill. I didn't feel like it. But what I want, my why is way bigger than that extra 10 or 15, 20 minutes of sleep and the guilt all day saying to myself, I want to be this, I want to be that, and then hadn't done it. So that's the answer. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. If you were 10 times more ambitious today than you were yesterday, would you be willing to do the ridiculous, to experience the miraculous? Thank you, Dr. Heath Harley, for the question.